Hi, and welcome to Thai TV. I'm Daniel Bergman, and today I thought we would tie a sort of a general bait fish imitation uh, with a lot of shit going on. Uh, it incorporates both a magic head, which gives it a really nice wiggling action, makes it move side to side, and also a wave tail. Uh, <laughs> That gives this uh, fly a really, really cool swimming action. It looks really like a small fry uh, when going through the water. It's excellent fly for both uh, perch or you can go for trout with it. Uh, the possibilities are endless, more or less. All fish that uh, eat fish like them. Um, so, let's get going. I start off with the Partridge Attitude Extra Hook. This one is in size 1. You can go smaller if you like to, of course. This is a good average size and it's also quite a short shank hook which uh, gives the fly uh, a lot of movement or the possibility to, to swim really well. Uh, and I'm gonna start by preparing everything for putting the magic head on the hook. So what I do then is I do sort of a layer of uh, tying thread all the way up front, just behind the hook eye. And just finish it off. That gives uh, the magic head something to, to rest on. And I take one of these. Uh, this is the size 13, R13 Magic Head. Sort of a little silicone uh, cone. <laughs> and then I cut off just a little bit here. There we go. And then we're gonna try to get this onto the hook. This can be done in several ways. Uh, if you have a bigger hook than this, I wouldn't recommend doing this. But this usually works. I just push it on through the little hole <laughs> in the front there. And then we have it. <coughs> if you have a bigger hook, you can actually break the magic head, which is not so nice. Okay, <coughs> now we can get uh, started tying. I attach the tying thread, which is a uh, Dyneema thread, a Textream power thread in size medium. And then I go on to the sort of the uh, part of the magic head behind here and just take a couple of loose wraps and Carefully tighten it till you feel that the magic head is secure where you want it. <coughs> That's it. And I wind the thread all the way back. So I stop sort of just on top of the barb here. There we go. That's actually sort of where the hook shank starts to bend a little bit. And I take one of these uh, wave tails. This is the size medium in the skin version of the white. It's really soft, swims really well. Um, and I pinch it between my fingers, um, my thumb and my uh, pointing finger and try to place it straight on top of the hook and do sort of a pinch and loop uh, technique to tie it down. I don't want to twist this too much when tying it down. I want to leave it there on top of the hook shank. And it's quite important that it's um, not 
too far in the front of the hook because then you have the possibility of the tail tangling around the hook shank. Okay, there we have it. Nicely secured. Yeah. Okay, uh, for body of the fly, I'm just gonna take this uh, polar reflector flash uh, chenille in silver just to add uh, a little sparkle uh, to the body. I don't want the, the total impression of the fly to be too sparkly, uh, but I want something that shimmers through the materials. I just tie it on top of the hook shank, trying to find the um, side of the material where the fibers are pointing in the other direction, sort of away from, from the tie-in point. Okay, it's nicely secured there. Then I start winding this in... Uh, you don't need to do it really tight actually. <coughs> I just... yeah. You can leave a millimeter or two <laughs> in between. Uh, it will be all covered up by craft fur later on anyway. And I stop uh, just where I tied in the magic head or where the magic head starts. Tie it in and cut off the excess. Here we go. Got a nice silvery sparkly body. And then we're gonna sort of tie in the wing and the body of the fly. Um, and I do that sort of uh, reverse style. I tie it in forward and then I just fold it back. Um, quite easy. But I want to have some, some more sparkle and I take this uh, ripple ice fiber in fluorescent yellow. Um, fluorescent, you know. That's good. Uh, pull a few strands out. That was way too much. I got like 10 fibers or something in here. And I start with tying that in, first of all. Try to tie it in quite broadly over the top of the shank. There we go, just a couple of turns. And for underside I want to use sort of a uh, cream uh, belly looking uh, craft fur which is sort of a synthetic uh, fur really nice material for for streamers since it's you actually have different length lengths on the hair these fibers I always cut it all the way down at the base of the material here. I don't want I don't want this to be too long. Uh, you see some of the fibers on this one is like 10 centimeters or something. I just want it to be maybe maximum five centimeters. So I take away all the longest fibers. I measure it, maybe even a little bit shorter. Something like that, it's good. And then I also take away some of the shortest, bulkiest fibers in the bottom here. Um, I don't want the material to build too much bulk. In the head of the fly. Big mess. That's the way it should be done. Yeah. We're getting there. And then I even it out. I just trim it a little bit in the buttons of the fibers to 
have a nice even tie-in point. And I'm gonna turn my vise upside down so I have the underside of the fly pointing upwards. And I transfer the fibers to my left hand, try to hold it there, take a loose turn with the tying thread, one more, and pull it down. Then I, with my thumb, I sort of squeeze it and tease it to cover sort of the second, uh, the under half of the the fly. Make sure I'm not tying down too many of these ripple ice fibers. Can be a little bit messy. Okay, now we got the abdomen of the fish tied in. And then I go for an olive crafter. Take a small clump out. Uh, take a little bit more than what you think you'll need because you're gonna take away quite a lot of the material. It was maybe actually a little bit too sparse. I need to add some. Here we go. That's probably better. put those two clumps together. And the same procedure as with the with the cream one. Take away all the longest fibers. Um, but you actually want this to be just a little bit longer than the cream one. And this is sort of to keel the fly a little bit, make it swim <laughs> with the back upwards. You should also make sure that you have the same amount or at least not less than on the underside of the fly. Okay, measure it in. Looks good. I trim it again, the same as I did with the cream one. Turn it around. Swap fingers and tie it in. Loose turns. Then I pull it a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna do the same as with the cream one. Try to spread it out on top of the shank. So it's it meets the cream colored craft fur. There we go. Excellent. Then I trim off just a little bit of the buttons pointing backwards here. Not all of them because you want them to build a little bit of bulk to give some volume to the head. Okay, now I try to fold everything forward. I'm gonna finish this off. The tying part is done. I take some glue. Try to get an open space here to wrap some thread. And I put just a little bit of glue on the thread. Wind it in the same spot. And then do a big whip finish. I got the glue there so you don't have to do that many turns. There we go. Cut off the thread. Now we're going to fold everything backwards and give this guy some eyes. This can be a little bit easier said than done sometimes. Just need to tease it a little bit.
There we go. And prepare some eyes. I think these are 5.5 millimeters. Uh, heavily fluorescent green and white eyes. I just take some a small drop of glue on the back side of this. Just to make sure it stays where I want it. And now we're gonna try to sort of force the material backwards and place the eye just behind the magic head. This can be a little bit tricky. But it's no worry, we're gonna <laughs> cover this in uh, UV resin in just a short while. You just wanna get the eyes in place first. And the resin is also gonna force the craft fur to lay backwards, trying to do the same on this side. There we go. Now you need to be a little bit more thorough when doing this part. Fold all, try to catch all the fibers, fold it backwards. Take your UV resin, um, using the Deer Creek uh, Fine Flex for this purpose. And I dab just a little bit on top of the head, let it soak for just a little while. And now you can actually sort of mold the head. Okay, this is how I want it. And then I hit it with the torch. Just for a little while. And now it's hardened. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing in the bottom. Let it soak just for a little while and hit it. Here we go. We got a nice shape. Now that everything is sort of in place backwards, you can always go in a second time with the UV resin and add some. We've got everything in place here. Uh, we built up a soft head. It's quite durable, which is really nice. And well, this is, if you're happy with this, you're done. <laughs> uh, what I'm gon going to do just to, to make it look a little bit more, a little bit nicer is uh, put some spots on it with uh, permanent marker. Uh, this is sort of a dark olive. And when you do this, try to collect all the fibers uh, when putting the dots in. It's easier to get a nice result then. You can add some careful dots on the tail as well. Let's go for a little few dots with the black one too. It actually soaks through the skin tail, uh, so you can easily mark it on the same spot on the back side of the tail. Okay. Okay, just to finish it off and um, give it sort of a 
little bit better swimming action. I'm gonna trim the magic head a little bit. I think it's a little bit too large. What I do then is I squeeze it together and then I cut off just like a couple of millimeters like that and then I give it sort of a little lip squeeze it together cut it a little bit on the underside this sort of slows down the action a little bit on the swimming action there we go a uh, really nice uh, little fry uh, small fish pattern that works for, yeah, as I said, <laughs> all predatory fish. You can tie it in different sizes, different colors. Well, uh, that's it. Uh, I would love to hear uh, what you guys would use this kind of fly for and also from where you're watching, what country. Um, and if you like a chance to win this actual fly, uh, drop a comment in the box below and tell us why you want it and what you're gonna use it for. And don't forget to uh, hashtag your photos with uh, fly dressing and we will see your uh, flies and have a chance to comment on them. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a go at this one. It works really well. We'll see you later. Bye.